The Emirates Motorsport Federation um, to put up this great facility. It's a great event on a Friday and I uh, really enjoy doing it. It's great. It's one of the best circuits that I, that I enjoy in the region. And also the atmosphere is really friendly. Oh, it's always fun to come here. I enjoy it. Welcome to the Dubai Motorsport Festival at the Dubai Autodrome. It was an action-packed weekend featuring the NGK Racing Series, UAE Sport Bikes Championship, Formula Golf 1000 Racing, Radical Middle East Cup, and the big boys of the sport, the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East. There was something for everyone, and the weekend featured some of the best drivers from the UAE and the Middle East. The action began with the NGK Racing Series featuring the usual favorites. Rupesh Chanaki was back after missing the last race. He took the fight to his biggest rivals, Jonathan Mullen and Alex Anivas. Chanaki was in great form, winning race one in the class two, ahead of Mullen and Anivas. Yeah, it was very nice. I mean, everybody was really, really close. The first few laps, it was real, lots of overtaking, and uh, really, it was nice, you know. And Rupes, he drove very well, so he deserved the win today. It was a bit different with the BMWs in the mix, uh, so I uh, had to use a lot of different tactics on the... Uh, odd uh, curves and uh, breaking points, uh, trying to squeeze through the BMW. First up. With Costas Papantonis absent in Class 1, Guillaume Simonet takes the win ahead of the Czech BMW drivers, Peter Varek and Marce Kusin. In Race 2, Jonathan Mullen returned to his winning ways with some focused and skillful driving. Fending off a spirited challenge by Rupes Chanaki. Uh, it was much better actually. We made a few improvements to the car. We altered the rear wing and uh, we also did some tiny setup changes just to the handling and it was much smoother. So this is why we were able to really get out in front and just pull away a little bit. NGK Racing was followed by the Radical Middle East Cup. The GT Academy Middle East winner Salman Al Qatar was back. They're really fast cars. Uh, I mean, if it boils down to one thing, it's, it's the cars are really fast, uh, a lot of aerodynamics, so uh, you really pull those G forces. It's, it's really nice. It's the first time I do the GP circuit, so it's, it's it was difficult to learn that quick, uh, but it was good. Scott Balsden and Oliver Smith won race one with some steady, focused driving. It was, uh, it was quite consistent, which is what, what I'm looking for. Despite some trouble in race one, Kuwaiti brothers Mohammed and Salim al Nusuf were runaway winners in race two. Saeed Bintouk won both races over two days. Young Tom Bale was not happy with runner-up. I was trying to catch him and he was quite close. And then I got a really good drive out of turn eight onto the back straight. And um, I caught up to him in the six room and passed him on the brakes. And then he cut back and it was my corner. I was on the inside for the left and he just came across straight into the side of my car and so he went off but he carried on and my wing went under my car so I couldn't carry on. The 
Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East, where the top racers compete once again at the Autodrome track. Push as hard as we have, can, nothing to lose, and uh, yeah, just try to win the race. You know, we know we have the pace, looking forward to the race, and uh, you know, I wish all the drivers all the best. You know, we have uh, uh, 10 laps, and the track is, uh, has a lot of overtaking opportunities, so uh, it's definitely going to be an exciting race. It was a thrilling race and a close contest between all the favorites. But from lap three onwards, there was a nail-biting duel between Saudi Prince Abdulaziz Al Faisal and Emirati ace Saeed Al Meheri. The winner, Al Faisal. It was a pretty dramatic in the beginning uh, with the incident with Clements, and then um, my steering wheel was slightly bent, and uh, then we had the red flag, and then the restart, and then. Uh, Said overtook me and, and Clemens on the when we had the incident together, and uh, yeah, just focused on trying to overtake him. And on the last lap, uh, I predicted the mistake that he did because he did it the lap before, and I just took advantage of that and, and uh, you know finished first. In race two, the main battle was between Kuwaiti Said Ashkenani and the young Saudi Fahad Al Gosaidi. Uh, his performance was amazing, he was very consistent, his exits were always quick, so it was hard to get to. The UAE Sport Bikes. Abdulaziz Bin Laden has won every race he's entered. When you understand the sequence of reactions that you need to do at the right time, that's what makes the difference. Last year's champion Mahmoud Tanir wants to get back on top. If you're not really understanding new things every single time, there's really no room for improving. And he did it. Mahmoud Tanir won the 600cc in style. Bin Laden unable to finish with an engine failure. Obviously, Nasser on the 1000, you know, was a bit in front of me, but I really wanted to overtake him and be the first on the first corner. And from then, I just tried to push as much as possible. But I wanted to see if I can make a big gap to Abdulaziz. And uh, I think we managed maybe maybe by lap two or three, maybe a, a second or something. Uh, I just kept pushing from there, really, and uh, I'm really, really happy because we really deserve this. And I, you know, I just want to enjoy being on the first spot again. But in race two, Abdulaziz bin Laden powered through the field after starting in last position as he took the checkered flag in a remarkable display to beat Tanir. That concludes an action-packed Dubai Motorsport Festival. See you next time.